Hey, welcome back to Exit 45. Uh, so, uh, one of the things I'm going to have to do, uh, I found out after pulling the headliner out, uh, and that was extremely difficult to get that headliner out. I had to crease it and fold it, and I just wasn't happy about that. Uh, so I think I'm going to end up doing is now I have to pull them front seats out as well to make sure I got as much room as possible to get that headliner back in. Uh, it was just too hard getting it out, even with the seats lay it all the way flat as low as I could get them I was still losing I don't know uh, eight inches maybe maybe more of uh, space where I could have access you know more more opening in the in the rear door so let's get in here and let's uh, figure out how to get the front seats out and I think while I got about I might as well just put some uh, sound deadener in why not all right let's get to it Okay, so a little bit of, <clears throat> excuse me, scouting around. I'm in the passenger side right now, um, and I have found uh, where the bolts are. Uh, I'm sure there's probably going to be some uh, electrical connectors in here um, because there are, along the side here, there's airbags. So, <clears throat> so let's, uh, let's show you where they are at. I'm sorry, I got to slide this back again. I guess it's all the way back there it is okay all right so you can see a torx bit right there and there's another one right there so we got the seat all the way back we'll get those two and then there's two more on the back side we'll get them as soon as we get these two out here okay okay so i got it broke loose there you go you see it's a torx bit and it is a number uh, T50. So that'll help you there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one out and then we'll move, let me see here, get it. Yeah, I'll get that one and we'll move to the back. Okay, we're in the back seat now. Looking at the back of the front seat, I've got it slid all the way forward, which then reveals each side here has this same Torx bit. So I'll break those loose and we'll get them pulled out. And then we'll uh, figure out the best way to get the seat out of here. All right. Got them broke loose. <laughs> Fine thread. There we go. And there's the other one. Okay. So, there you go. You can see the seat's loose now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I think the easiest way will be to lay the seat toward the back. So we'll just push the seat, well, I don't know. Oh, nope. We're going to have to go forward because the cable that's underneath here and plugged in is not very long. So let's see if we can't tip it up forward. Okay, guys. So let's show you what we got going on here. There's this one bundle wires that run up to the car it's secured right here with some sort of a tie and then you have three three different plugs that come off this one here is the unique one it's kind of a little bit weird but you you can just slide this part here back and it comes out I've never seen one like that uh, but anyway, so you got three plugs there that need to be undone. And then I just need to undo this clip. Looks like it's a zip tie. And, uh, and then I can get this out of there and the seat should come right out. Okay, so we got it off of the seat. And then if you look right here, it was uh, this little clip doohickey here that was holding it in. I just cut it with a pair of side cutters. 
got that out. All right, so it's time to get the seat out of here now. One seat down, one to go. All right, let's do it. Okay, let's uh, see how we get it past the steering wheel. Well, I guess that wasn't too difficult, was it? All right, so you can see right here, all the seats are out. But uh, for the purposes of this video, the front seats are out. And I'll be honest with you, um, really not that hard. Uh, difficulty level is definitely way down there. So uh, so we are in a good place right now to work on getting the uh, hurricane damage fixed. That was the whole purpose of gutting the interior on this thing. Well, guys, I think we're going to wrap this one up. Uh, I mean, I've done what I wanted to do on this one, which was to get the front seats out. So I have a whole lot easier time getting the headliner in. So uh, that's it. Short video. That's not so bad once in a while, right? Uh, but by doing these short videos, front seats, back seats, headliner, all those things, uh, they're easier for people to search who are trying to do this on this specific car. I appreciate you guys watching. Check out the other ones if you're uh, having to tear out a lot of your interior. Uh, hopefully, hopefully they help. I've never done it before. You can tell by watching. I've never done it before. And I got them out. So you can do it too. All right. I'll see you guys on the next video.